C. So we are supposed to differentiate phi plus cos x. Again, this is not a basic case. No? So we have to use rule again to break it down. One of the differentiation rule again, this is addition of the functions. So we have to use the addition rule. Okay. So again, I have to identify f and b. This time, f is function phi. B is the cos x. So now to here I can just individually different for this value or plugging it for p here. Here instead of some I different individual function or I can think of as plugging it forward. I differentiate phi plus P by P. Here I am by cos. So sometimes I put these back, sometimes I want to differentiate function. So now I break it down to some uh, derivative of basic function number. So this is a constant function, derivative of constant zero zero plus then derivative of cos x is negative sin x again here minus sin x plus sin x minus negative no? so minus so sin x zero minus sin x now I have got p e. so here I will notation here I'm asked to differentiate dash okay, so this function is not in the basic list. again I have to apply a rule okay now because this is again sum I can apply the sum rule but the problem here is here sum rule is only uh, sum of two functions but here we have three functions. So that is a problem. So here if you look at the sum two functions. Okay, but we can easily go away down that we can do it apply the sum rule twice. Okay. So we can apply the sum rule twice. So to apply the sum rule twice, here I have considered two of them as the one function and other one as the individual function. Okay, so here we get help from the associative law of addition. If you recall for the addition, these are real valued functions. No, for the real numbers, associative law says what you can add in any order. If you add three numbers, if you want, you can add these two first and add three, or you can add what first add. B and C and add A. So for example, if I have 2 plus 3 plus 5, here if I add 2 and 3 first, I can get 5, 5 plus 5, 10. No? Or I can add 2, B and 5 first, A, and 8 plus 2, 10. Same answer. No? So you can add. Uh, if I want, I can add the first two together and or I can add the second two. Okay, so normally when you are adding, you are adding in order, so you can put these brackets here or here because it doesn't matter. Normally, we don't put it. Okay, so here you can imagine group two, any two together. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, so I'll pick these two, I'll imagine these two to be together. Okay, or you could have said these two together. Okay, you could have said I could have these two together, it will not change the answer. Okay, because of the associate. So, for the sum rule, I will consider this as a one function. Okay, I will put uh, brackets, I can it doesn't matter what I add. So, here if I think like this, this one I can think as my first function f. 
and this one has an up. Okay. So if I think like that, I have to do the F dash. No? So the F dash means here I have to differentiate the uh, F dash plus D dash. No? I'm good. Now here F dash means if I plug in dash, F is all of this. No? So I have to take the derivative of some together. and x dash now here this one is a basic function i can differentiate but this one i cannot no because why well this is still not a basic function okay but uh, it's we can uh, differentiate it uh, okay because and here this is again a sum okay so for this i can write again apply the sum rule so here i am applying the sum rule twice so i'll apply the sum rule again x cube and this dash here i'm going to rewrite this function i write zero. I'll do some algebraic manipulation. And one I is negative one, no? One no. Okay, because when we use power rule, we have to have it in x and form dash. Now, uh, if you look at here, now when you apply the sum rule, actually, what in Twice, what happens? I ended up differentiate each individual function. No? So now on, you can directly jump this line and differentiate each individual function. Okay. So if I consider these two together, still I will get the same result. Now in that case, I would have right derivative of this plus this. Again, I will apply the sum rule for these two. I will get here. Okay. So it doesn't matter each two you consider when you apply the sum rule twice at the end i'll end up differentiating each individual function so normally you can skip this step and get it now here i will again this is not a basic function no this is not a basic function because it's a constant time X. So I can use the constant multiple rule and pull out the three of the sum out. I just came down. I pull out the constant out. Anyway. Now, here if I compare this one with x cube, again this one I will write in the same, I can bring down 3, no? P to the n is 3, no? x square, 1 power dot. Now this one I will rewrite, okay? Because here again x square root, I can use algebra and rewrite the function root of x if I use algebra can we it to the half no? as a power function. I can use power root. So now if I compare this n is half I can bring down the half and then x to the now half minus one, no? Half minus one is negative half. And here I have a again differentiation of negative one, no? So negative one, n is negative one, I can bring down the negative one. 
negative 1 minus negative 2. I have to bring down this power by 1. So, it becomes negative 2. Negative 1. Two, and this becomes negative half. Because half minus 1. No? Half minus. So I can simplify this here. I write my answer here. The final answer red color. I can color this. In. I can color this in real. This one is x to the negative one half. I can take the denominator and write it. Well, it becomes positive when I can half root. And minus three so this is the final answer so this one is the final answer. So here I applied sum rule. Now uh, sum rule two times. Then I end up differentiating each individual function. Okay. Uh, also, it doesn't matter which order you do associate. So you end up differentiating each individual function. So because of that. Any number of sum actually you can directly jump into the differentiation individual function. Okay. For example, let's say this one x. Uh, let's say I are. Uh, Asked to differentiate this one. So, what you can do first, you can think three functions together and this as a separate function and apply a one sum rule. Then again, for this one, you can think these three together and this one separate and apply a sum rule. So, you can apply four sum rules. I will end up, you can apply in any order, you will end up differentiating each into the function. So when you have a sum like this, any number of things, you can break it over the sum and write it. Put it into the function. Break to any number of sum. Any number so you can directly break it down. Okay, here actually I am applying the sum rule four times, okay, but I end up differentiating. Now these are basic functions, so I can compare this this three d minus two and the derivative of sine x cos. This one is again a power function. And the constant C1. Now, here I have the expression plus. Again, this is our function n is 1 over 3. So I bring down the one x. Now, here I have 1 over 3 minus 1. It is 2. Yeah. x to the I want I can uh, you remember that when you apply the sample and break it down any number of sum and write it the derivative. 